and allow the presence of the living God to saturate them inside and out for your glory, God. For your glory, God. And for your praise. We do it, God. I made up my mind. I will love him. I will give him. He doesn't have a hundred for I will give him. Through the hurt, through the pain, I will give him. Through the lack, through the loss, I will give them my all, my Give a name a high five and just tell him I'll give him my all. I'll give him my all. I, 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 I will give him. I, 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 Some loved ones that I'm waiting to cross the gate 
to come back home. I'm talking about to serving God with all their heart, with all their mind, and all their soul. I wish I wasn't in here by myself when I said that that was a good place to give God some praise. Praise God. Because I'm waiting that God will deliver them. Hallelujah. Amen. I want God to deliver them. Amen. Because if he don't deliver him, it may be a funeral that you have to attend. So what I'm trying to tell you is, you got to raise up in the spirit realm and tell these demonic spirits that it's over with. Uh, you got to tell these demonic spirits, you can't have my son. You got to tell these demonic spirits, you can't have my mother. You can't have my father. You can't have my sister. You can't have my brother. You can't have my life because it don't belong to you. Uh, yeah, 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 it belongs to the living God. Look at somebody and say, I belong to the living God. Yeah, nah, 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 my God. yeah, yeah, yeah. I belong to the living, the true and living God. Amen. And he's here right now. Stand to the reading for the reading of God's word. We begin to read a man uh, from God's word there. Amen. When he said the 27th verse. Amen. 27th verse. Drop out. Right by, I will take the 28th and the 29th. Amen. And I'll read the 27th verse for the people of God. St. Luke, the 15th chapter, and the 27th verse. It reads, And he said unto him, This was the son talking to the father, Thy brother is come, and thy father has killed the fattest calf because he have received him safe and sound. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. at your neighbor and just say sense in sin yeah yeah uh, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord I take for the title amen in sense in sin when you are the reason look at the neighbor say neighbor when you are the reason. Yeah, yeah, you got to know when you are the reason after you have come to uh, out of darkness, you have come from departure in sin, praise God, because you wanted to take yours and go your own way, and there you received chastisement and misery in your pain by realizing that the people that's serving your father is eating and living better than you are right now. This son decided to rise up and then go home. But after he had came to himself, the next step that we learned last week, it was conviction.
conviction and resolve. Amen. There had to be a conviction in his spirit when he realized, amen, that he had done wrong and he realized his condition. Praise God. But see, you got to realize that when you are the son of the living God and you have been called according to God's purpose, that your situation is not your revelation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, his condition caused him to uh, receive conviction in his heart to realize, amen, that God himself, praise God, was dealing with him to repent and return home to his father, amen, to where he can live the life, amen, that he was called to live. Uh-huh. Yeah, see, sometimes when you get out of the will of God, you begin to live outside of the will, and your blessing will begin to draw up, and God will take his hand off your blessing, and your blessing will begin to draw up. If God never takes his hand off your blessing, then it is eternal, because he said the blessing of the Lord maketh you rich, and his blessing blessing and no sorrow. Uh, look at the neighbor and just say, I need a blessing that add no sorrow. Can I get a witness here? Yeah, you got to recognize, praise God, that God's blessing for your life, it adds no sorrow, but you got to believe that he is, and he is a rewarder for them that diligently seek him amen so he moved there from conviction and then he rose to resolve this issue and then the bible said he returned and then he was welcome look at the neighbor and they say trouble is on the way See, when you return home to God, we think, praise God, that it's going to be all peaches and cream, praise God, when you get ready to return home, amen. But I tell you, uh, it really is, but you got to realize that your haters, as Lady McCullen say, have always been your elevators. Uh huh. Your haters is your motivation, hallelujah. But I want to shine the light on, praise God. God that when it's your turn to shine and when you are the reason uh huh yeah yeah you are the reason praise God I don't care how long you've been lost and how long you've been turned out when you are the reason and you are the life huh of the party somebody gonna get mad when you are the life of the party look at the neighbor just say somebody gonna get mad when you are the life of the party uh-huh uh, what are all this celebration for what is all this celebration for what is all this celebration for can I get a witness here uh, look at the neighbor and just say neighbor what is all this celebration for Praise God and uh, well, the folks just listening around and folks just watching and everybody want to know what this celebration is all about. Praise God and I tell you that's why we have to tune in to the Father because the word says it, amen, that amen, a proud, amen, a, 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 a father makes, praise God, a proud son and when that son is proud he makes a proud a father but a foolish son the bible said would bring shame on his mother uh one wonder why because the doctrine mothers are nurturers and they supposed to make sure that the word of god is implanted in the children as the father begins to nourish it protects and minister in water how many y'all know one plant and then the other one water so that the plant will begin to to grow when you got a mother and a father on the same team praise God and they point in their children the same way but coming in different ways praise God then they know that there is no separation praise God and there is nothing but oneness and then the spirit of the Lord will say guess what I want to do I got to get ready to bring in now the fattest calf why because it's going to be a Holy Ghost party mm-hmm 
Yeah, it's going to be a Holy Ghost party when uh, uh, you return home, when you get to the uh, welcome and then you get the return. And now here comes the confession and the repentance. After he was welcomed, praise God, on last week's lesson, and now here come the confession and the repentance. When the son said, see, sometimes it got to come out of your mouth. See, the Bible says when the son said, out of your mouth, amen, comes the river of the living water. Uh huh. When confession is in your tongue, praise God, like God have ordained it to be. I don't care who, praise God, is upsetting you. I don't care who, praise God, is coming against you. It does not matter who, praise God, is, praise God, uh, 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 trying to stop or block your blessing. I rose to tell you that, that, that God himself, praise God, is for you. It does not matter who is against you. It can be a blood brother. It can be a blood sister. Come on, somebody, when the father got favor on us, son it's gonna be trouble I wrote to tell you when father got favor on one son it's gonna be trouble in the camp uh, uh, yeah yeah it's gonna be trouble in the camp of course the other brother gonna have envy in their heart why because he is the father yeah, I rose to tell y'all, praise God, when the father get happy, don't nobody know like a father. Uh, don't nobody know a son like a father because we made in the image of God. And when you made in the image of God, that's why don't nobody know, praise God, you like God do. Come on somebody, amen. Because he made that man. In other words, he know a man is in the inside of that boy. He just acting like a boy, but when he come to the living word of God, then he shall become a man. God knows there is a woman inside that girl, but she's acting like a girl. Oh my God. Because she don't want the responsibility of a woman, and when she get the responsibility of the woman, she move away from childish things, and now she become mature. Look Look at the neighbor and say, when you are the reason. Yeah, when you are the reason that they plan the song. When you are the reason that they're clapping their hands. And when you are the reason, praise God, that they're stumping their feet. When you are the reason that the fattest calf is cut, there will be some envy. There will be some hating. But look at the neighbor and say, let them hate. Yeah, 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 let them hate. Praise God, it ain't going nowhere. So at the wild, praise God, they'll stop hating. They have to get in. Praise God, where they fit in. Why? Because there got to be a, 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 a party when something is found that was lost. My God, Holy Ghost, help me here. It got to be a party. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, why are you mad? Because your name ain't on the plug up. Why are you mad? Praise God. Because your name ain't on the invoice. Why are you mad? Because your name ain't on the marriage certificate. Why are you mad? Because your name don't have manager before. Why are you mad? When your name, because your name don't got supervisor before. Why are you mad? Because your name don't got profit in front of it. It don't got evangelism in front of it. It don't got pastor in front of it I rode to tell you you still is somebody God saying you got to return home to me and I'm going to get ready to restore you I'm going to get ready to give you what was lost I'm going to get ready to give you yeah 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 can I get a witness here yeah 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 why 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 praise God hallelujah you got to realize What's happening here, huh? There's some stuff that God is going to get ready to do. I wrote to tell you that when you are the reason, praise God, uh, folks, praise God, when you are the reason that your mother is smiling, when you are the reason that your father is smiling, when you are the reason, come on somebody, that God is smiling, I rose to tell you, somebody going to get envy in their heart, somebody going to get hate. Why? Because you confessed out of your mouth and said daddy I'm not worth why you didn't celebrate when he said that see that was the time that he had to celebrate when he said father I'm not no worthy to be your son 
Pray God. He said, just place me where your servants at. The other brother should have heard that. Praise God, but he's so worried about, praise God, the amens. He's so worried about the, the cast. He's so worried about the sandals. He's so worried about the, 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 the ring, praise God, to where he missed the most important thing that his brother has said. And he said to him, hallelujah, praise God. He said to his father, I rose to tell you, let them hate. Yeah, let them hate. Praise God. Because guess what? The real God ain't going to discriminate. My God, y'all come on, somebody. Be quiet. The Bible said that he is no respectable of God. When you line your life up, Josh, when you line your life up, Carrie, when you line your life up, Pastor McCullum, I rose to tell y'all, guess what? God is going to get ready to pour down the oil on you. He's going to get ready to pour down his blessing on you. All you got to do with your mouth is confess and then repent. Repent is turn to God. He didn't repent and then stay with the pigs. See, that's the power that you got to really understand. He did not repent and then stay where he at. See, most of us begin to repent and then we stay in sin. Huh? Yeah, we repent because after our flesh is gratified and then once it's pleased, we get up and say, forgive me, Lord, but you still stay in that ungodly relationship. You still stay, praise God, broke. You still stay with that poverty mindset. You still stay with that envy in your heart. You still stay with that jealousy in your heart. You still stay negative. You still stay gossiping. You still stay mad. Look at the neighbors and say, are you mad or no? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Uh, I'll make that a statement here. Are you mad or no? Praise God, hallelujah. Because the party must go on. Uh, can I get a witness here? Give a neighbor a high five and just say, the party must go on. Yeah, yeah, he turned and then he said, I'm coming out of darkness I'm finna get ready to go into this marvelous light. Can I get a witness here? Yeah, yeah, I got to go, which means I got to close, hallelujah. But, but before I go, I must give you a reason why, hallelujah, that they're mad. They mad because you feel good. They mad because you back home, hallelujah. They mad because the way you got it together. They mad, see, let me tell you something here. Uh, uh, in that, 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 that verse, the, the, 20, what, the, the 22nd, 3rd verse, the Bible said that there was reconciliation and rejoicing. When folks start rejoicing, folks gonna start getting mad. I don't know about y'all, but uh, see when you when you about the father's business, people start rejoicing when you come in to work. They start rejoicing when they see you at the family picnic. They they start rejoicing when they see you at the family member's house. They start rejoicing. Why? Because the true and the present word of God is in this place. And if they do know one thing that I'm around, and when evangelist is around, and Lady McCullough is around and the ministers around and the ecclesias around I can get a prayer through look at the neighbor and say you can get a prayer through yeah 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 you can realize praise God in the 66 books of the Bible you find praise God that when they gave you your ring back praise God and they remove your sandals it move it remit that the covenant was removed from you that means you got to do your thing the hard way uh, come on somebody if I take y'all down south praise God and took y'all shoes off y'all and told y'all to walk on them sandy roads and walk on them rock roads praise God yeah, some of y'all couldn't make it praise God I'm talking about three or four Steps y'all couldn't make it when them rocks and hit y'all feet when them gravel would hit y'all but you got to realize that your ancestor was raised on them gravel 
Praise God. They didn't have no, come on somebody, they didn't have what you got right now. Come on somebody. Yeah, they didn't have, praise God, Ed George. They didn't have the Stacey Adams. They didn't have the, come on somebody, they didn't have these alligator shoes that we wear in the day. Praise God. They didn't have these stilettos. They didn't have these pumps that we wear in today. They didn't have this comfortability now. So when them sandals was removed, it was like your covenant was moved from you and people did not mess with you because you didn't have on no shoes. Uh, yeah, admit that you didn't have no friends. Admit that get away from them. Praise God. Why? Because if he ain't got no shoes, he come to steal them. Oh my God, hallelujah, praise God. He was up to no good because he didn't have a cup. See, you didn't realize, know that, but spiritually, when people see you outside the covenant of God, then that meant that you up to no good, yeah, huh? Because the covenant is not on your life. You does not have a church home. You does not have, praise God, somebody praying and interceding that the blood of God is placed over your life so you begin to live your life reckless. Why? Because you make yourself vulnerable for the enemies. Hallelujah. But you got to know, praise God, that here, praise God, when the rejoicing came, when the sandals and the ring came. See, if he had to cook the fattest calf, it wouldn't have been no problem if you studied the word. See, but the problem came when the robe and the ring came. Because it meant that you were somebody. It meant that you belong to somebody. Do I got anybody here? Praise God. Come on, somebody. That know that you belong to somebody. Why? You in your midst of your sin. You belong to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Why? You in the midst of that ungodly relationship. You belong to somebody. Y'all the hand up. Come on, somebody. While they whooping on your daughters, I wrote to tell you they belong to somebody. Huh? Come on, somebody. Where they, while they taking the manhood out of your son and taking the heart out of your son, how many of y'all know he belonged to a man? Hallelujah. I ain't gonna get no. Come on, somebody. Amen. When your manhood is taken from you, Praise God, is, 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 is that mean, praise God, that you a man and your word ain't nothing in your home. Can I get a witness here? But look at your neighbor and you say, you belong to somebody. I remember sitting in front of the face of the judge, praise God. And he was going to get ready to hit the mallet, hallelujah. And all silence began to come when the mallet was raised up. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And the, the mallet had it came down, it would have been five to ten years. But while the mallet was still up, praise God, it was a still small voice and said, he belongs to Jesus Christ of men. Hallelujah. Can I get with his hair? Uh, yeah, yeah. When the pistol was to my head. See, y'all ain't never had it to your head. When the pistol was to your head and before the trigger got a chance to go off, praise God. It was a still, small, silent voice, praise God, that whispered in the ear of the killer and say, he belongs to Jesus Christ of men. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. When they tried to make you lose your mind by slipping a Mickey in your drink. Before they can execute their plan, hallelujah, but it was a still small voice, praise God, that interrupted the plan of the enemy, hallelujah, to make you get out of your mind, that said to them, guess what, that is my daughter, that is my son, I can't allow you to lose their mind, I can't allow the enemy to make them lose their mind uh, because they belong to me praise God uh, you better give a neighbor a high five uh, and tell that neighbor uh, uh, what's all this rejoicing about uh, you are the reason why the, uh, they are rejoicing uh, you are the reason why the, uh, that these people have come together uh, you are the reason why the, uh, that they cut the fattest calf uh, you are the reason why the, uh, 
that the people of God uh, is getting together um, uh, at the command of the Father uh, to give you an ordination uh, to bring you back to your calling uh, that was prophesied uh, according to Jeremiah uh, 29 and 11. Uh, you were called uh, before the foundation of the earth. Uh, look at a neighbor uh, and tell that neighbor uh, you are called uh, before the foundation of the earth uh, to do God's will. Uh, you just going through some stuff now uh, but you coming out uh, all God said I need you to do is uh, confess and repent uh, and come out of sin uh, and give me on your way uh, to the house of the Lord uh, it don't matter uh, how late you are uh, because as long as you live it it's never too late uh, as long as you breathe uh, it's never too late uh, thanks I wrote to tell you uh, as the witnesses uh, of the Lord and Savior and, uh, Jesus Christ uh, don't be scared of these demonic spirits uh, when it's your turn uh, to shout and praise God uh, when it's your turn uh, to lift your hands uh, and hear the hands uh, of the people lifted uh, when you are the reason why uh, that they are elected uh, when you are the reason why uh, that they are powerful uh, when you are the reason why uh, that they are anointed uh, when you are the reason why uh, they come to their senses uh, when you are the reason why uh, they call by their name uh, of Jesus Christ of Nazareth uh, instead of their problem uh, when you are the reason why they are the manager uh, when you are the reason why uh, that they are the supervisor uh, when you are the reason why uh, they got their mind back uh, when you are the reason why uh, they're lifting their hands uh, when you are the reason why uh, the sandals of prosperity uh, is brought back on their life uh, when you are the reason why uh, they come back to their covenant uh, and walk in uh, to the house of the Lord uh, when you are the reason why uh, everybody is rejoicing who don't want to rejoice when it's your time when you are the reason somebody want to jump up and hate because it's your turn and you came back you once was lost but now you're found but I rose to tell y'all with the spirit of James looking in the mirror if don't nobody else want to encourage you you better get in the mirror and encourage yourself and tell yourself we throwing a party because you coming back to the anointing of God you coming back to the power of God you coming back and you going to another level you coming back to the household of faith y'all you coming back to your steak dinner after eating McDonald's in poor peas uh, after eating noodles uh, and rice y'all uh, for almost six years uh, and you coming back uh, to your steak uh, and your lobsters uh, you coming back uh, to your crab legs uh, and velocini uh, the devil gonna get upset uh, the enemy gonna get mad uh, but you better look at that neighbor uh, and say I was raised uh, on steak uh, in the spirit realm uh, and now y'all uh, I refuse to eat anything else but the word of God because it was left on record that man should not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. This is the way I eat my brother. Have you forgot it that I was raised with you? Have you forgot it that we slept in the same bed? Have you forgot it that they served us together? Have you forgot it that we wore the same robe? Have you forgot it that your cousin is my cousin? Have you forgot it that your mother is my mother? Have you forgot it that your father is my father and he is? the man of God with no respectable a person and it's your time to shine when you are the reason why they're rejoicing the devil is gonna get upset look at that neighbor and tell your neighbor when you are the reason why that they're blessed when you're the reason why 
that they shout in when you're the reason why that they're lifting their hands when you're the reason why they cooking the meal if you're the reason why they're barbecuing the devil is gonna get mad but so what bring some more coals and add to the fire go get some more fluid go look at your neighbor say go get some more fluid we need this fire to be ignited because it's my turn I'm coming back to the word of God I'm coming back to my true and living anointing I'm coming back unto God I'm coming back and let God have his way I'm coming back to the true and living God I'm coming back you better look at that neighbor and tell that neighbor when you're the reason why the devil gonna get upset but don't worry God told me to tell you that if he be for you it can be more than the world against you go ahead look at a neighbor say about this time next year I'm gonna double my haters I'm gonna double my haters because longer you got haters that mean it's more praise that mean it's more dancing that mean it's more shouting can I get somebody to jump in the spirit to let the devil know you will not kill my son you will not kill my daughter you will not kill the people that I pray for you will not kill nothing that belongs to the true and living God on the count of three we're going to erupt this place with a praise to let the devil know get your hands off my son get your hands off my daughter get your hands there's a party that she don't know there's a party that's gone from my mind she don't realize there's a party she's too busy living a right life he too busy out the will of God he too busy spinning everything with the whole mongers too busy spinning everything to look like an old pose to look like somebody when you are somebody in the living God give a neighbor a high five and tell that neighbor when you're the reason why when you're the reason why the party it got to go on get out of my way bring more symbols get out of my way bring another chord get out of my way get out of my way don't stop my party don't stop my party because my party it ain't y'all a R&B party my party it ain't a hip-hop party my party is an everlasting party for the bell of the Lord and the people of the Most High is celebrating my party it's like a live funeral where we're singing and dancing and praising the Lord for my return when when I return to my calling I woke y'all up in the spirit of God I know can't no bring you out like Jesus I know that it's only the grace of God I had to come out somebody that you know that sold drugs somebody that you know that club night and day somebody that you know was a homemonger somebody that you know was a gambler so God said I'm bringing you home for the people can see how much I love the gambler I love the drug dealer I love the harness I love the people that's outside of the will of God but I rose to tell you he came to make spiritual life available to spiritually dead men look at a neighbor and tell that neighbor when you're the reason why look at that neighbor and give him a high five and tell them when you are the reason why give two people a high five and just tell them you are the reason why you are the reason why what I've been commanded to do because you got to serve notice to all your haters this is a go ahead and hate praise this is a go ahead and hate praise when we begin to release this praise you can let the devil know that you ain't stopping my party you ain't stopping my blessing 
You ain't stopping mine. Come on, somebody. Because your inheritance is among them who are sanctified. Your blessing is right here today. Now on the count of three, I want everybody that got feet and hands to rejoice and make your one, two, three. Go ahead and pray. Never know. You can't stop my Holy Ghost party. You can get jealous and angry all you want. You can get jealous and angry all you want, but you ain't stopping my. Make it, man. Yeah, no, 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 Make it, man. Make the devil, man. Make the devil, man. Make the devil, man. Make the devil mad. 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 Sorry, my brother. Sorry, my sister. Sorry, mama. Sorry, dad. You don't know the behind the behind. You don't know the behind 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 when you're the reason why, 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 you're the reason why, you hear that loud noise, when you're the reason why, you see the barbecue. Right where you are. Get a sacrifice in your hand, everybody, right now. Get a sacrifice in your hand. We're going to get ready to close. Get a sacrifice in your hand. A jubilee seed. Make the devil mad. Those that can give a jubilee seed. A jubilee seed is a $50 seed. That means that you're going to get a year of return. That the enemy has stolen. If you believe the living word of God, show it. But the closest you can get to it, the closest you can get to it, the closest you can get to it, you be the one to leave. Remember, your party is your party. I said, your party is your party. Get better if you don't have it. 
The debit card machine is over here. If you don't have cash, come on. Ow! It's a praise war. It's the Holy Ghost part. Bless him. Bless his name. 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 Stand on your feet all over the building. Come on. Stand on your feet out of your building. Come out of your seat. Come out of your seat. God is talking to you. Come out of your seat. God is talking to you. You his son. You his daughter. You his son. You his daughter. You his son, you his daughter. Make your deposit in the kingdom. Make your deposit. Your party's gonna be a big party. You finna have a big party at the behind the sons and my daughters, if you hear, and you said, I want the covenant back over my life. I want the promise back over my life. The Spirit of the Lord said, come on. Heaven said, come on. Don't waste no time. Heaven said, come on. Heaven said, come on. Heaven said, come on real quickly. If you hear, heaven said, come on. 
Kevin said, come on. Minister running. Grab that oil. Anoint his head. Anoint it. If you hear. You want it? Hear the voice of the Lord and come get it. Come get it. The Lord said, son, I'm going to blot out how you live the past 10 years. But he said, from this day forth, I'm watching you like a hawk. I'm watching you like an eagle. I see you high and I see you low. But he said, yay, my son. Remember, the eagle's got to come down and get some water. Even the eagle's got to come low. After flying so high. But he's got to come touch you again. You know better. So you do better. I restore you for your sandals, your ring, and your robe. Thus said the Lord, line your life up with the word of God. And God said, I'm going to hold. I'm going to open the door. And all the blessings that the enemy stole what riots and living. He said, I'm giving them back. I'm giving them back in the name of the Father. I'm giving them back in the name of the Son. I'm giving them back in the name of the Holy Ghost. It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. If you be willing and obedient, God said, I'm going to give you the promise. I'm going to give you the promise. I'm going to give you the fruit. Go ahead and praise God with him, saints. Go ahead and praise God with him. Go ahead and praise God with him. The fathers return them on. Go ahead. Y'all gotta rejoice with him now. Come on. If this is the kingdom of heaven, you gotta rejoice with him. Go ahead and magnify. Go ahead and magnify. Go ahead, Shank. The fetters can't. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I dare you. Come on. We're going to get ready to go. It's 115. Y'all, we out of here. We out of here. But can we leave with a prayer? Tell your feet to raise the right hand. Tell your feet to raise the right hand. Repeat after me. Say, Lord, I promise to praise God for the next 10 seconds with my brother in this place right now. On the count of three, you promised him. Now go ahead and praise him for the 10 seconds real quickly. Right now, because we're going to get ready to close. Go ahead and praise him with your brother. Go ahead and praise him. Go ahead and praise him. Go ahead and praise him. Yeah! No more. No more. Ride the living. No more. Hey, cop.
your party, you want somebody to dance with you. At your wedding, you want somebody to dance with you. While the musician is playing, yes, Lord. I want all the musicians, all the the altar call workers. I just want to meet with y'all for five minutes with your time before you leave. Is that all right? All the leaders. All the people in every auxiliary, I want to speak with y'all for five minutes before we leave. Raise that right hand. May the Lord watch between me and thee while we absent one from another. Watch and pray. Look at that neighbor and say, neighbor, when you are the reason, let them get angry because the party gonna have to go on. Now you're dismissed in Jesus' name. Now look at that name and say the party gonna have to go on. You dismissed 130. Y'all look at that. We out of here. Come back. Come back the next present time when you're getting out of here early.